Getting savvy with screen recording can help you create content faster and more creatively. And it's pretty easy to do. There are many ways you can use it, whether you're trying to promote your services, show off your social accounts, or add exciting visuals to enhance your work. For example, perhaps you want to showcase your website and advertise what you do. By screen recording your website while you navigate around the various pages, you can create engaging, branded visuals that get potential clients interested in your services and where to book them. Or perhaps you want to demonstrate how your product works to a potential customer who maybe is running into a technical problem while working remotely. Screen recording shows them where to go to solve the problem in a fast and simple to understand way, literally walking them through the process they need to take. Or maybe you want to do a product review, showing yourself playing that game or using a particular app to position yourself as an expert in your field. Or perhaps you use screen recording to capture content online that you want to use in your video. For example, let's say you see a short video on Facebook that you want to download. Rather than using an online downloader, which let's face it can sometimes be a bit tedious, you can just screen record the video playing through and then use it within your own video creations with the appropriate copyright attribution, of course. Now, there are many tools and services available on the market that will enable you to screen record, but as mobile editors and iOS users, you don't have to worry about that, as all iPhones with iOS 11 or later have a built-in screen recording function. So without downloading a single thing, I can record what my phone or iPad sees and then get on with editing it straight away in LumaFusion. So how do we do it? On iOS, to record your screen, go to Settings, Control Center. Then tap the Add button next to Screen Recording. This will add a screen recording shortcut to your Control Center. The Control Center, if you haven't heard it called that, is just where you find your torch, Wi-Fi, 3G within your phone. Now open your Control Center by swiping down from the top right-hand corner of your screen. This is the Screen Record icon. It enables you to either record just your screen and the internal sound from whatever is playing on your phone, or you can tap and hold to turn the microphone on with this icon here, in which case it will record the screen, your voice, and any other ambient audio all at the same time. You might want to turn this on if you're narrating something that you're seeing, or maybe walking someone through a series of actions on their device. So once you make a decision there, start recording, and then wait for the three second countdown. Now you're going to find the piece of media that you want to screen record, or maybe you're going to go over to that website that you want to capture or go through that tool and show certain actions. Whatever it is you're recording, once you're finished, you're going to open up the control center and then tap on the record icon to stop. Or you can tap the red status bar at the top of your screen and tap stop. Once it's processed, your screen recording will be available in the Photos app on your device. When watching it back, remember to tap the audio speaker icon to hear the sound. Once you have your screen recording done, no doubt you're going to want to make little changes to it, perhaps trimming the beginning and the end of, maybe to rotate the entire video. But if you want to get extra creative, you're going to insert this into LumaFusion. Remember that screen recordings are just videos when you put them into the editor, so we treat them in the exact same way as we do other layers. So a nice idea might be to put your screen recording in the frame of the device you created it on, just like I have here. To achieve this, I place an image of my iPad on the timeline. I add my screen recording as a layer on top, and I just adjust the size in the frame and fit editor accordingly to make it fit nice and neat. If you have a PNG image like this with a transparent center, you can of course place your frame on top of your screen recording. This effect, putting your screen recording in a frame, gives your work a nice and professional edge. Just remember to choose an image of the same size device and model that you use to screen record so your recording fits in the space neatly without you having to do much cropping. Voiceovers also work really well with screen recorders. So if you didn't originally narrate your screen recording just earlier as we saw when we put the mic on or off, you can add a voiceover within LumaFusion itself. Just place your playhead where you want your narration to start, tap the add clip icon, tap on voiceover and start recording. You'll get a countdown here and then you can just record directly into your device while watching your video playback. 
Tap this circle icon to stop recording when you're done and here you can choose to review, redo or keep your voiceover. These voiceovers are really great because they can help you inject personality into your video as well as helping audiences to understand what they're seeing on screen. Also remember guys that when audiences are watching a screen recording, they often need a little guiding at what they should be looking at and focusing on, especially if there's a lot happening at once. So give them enough time to take in the visuals and movement and use shapes within the title editor to add arrows, lines and boxes in your brand style of course to draw your audience's eye to the most important part of the screen. Here at Luma Touch, we challenge you to get as creative as you can with screen recordings. So let us know how you get on. If you have any tips and tricks of your own, please do pop them in the comments. We love to hear from you guys. Until then, I will see you guys over at the Luma Touch Academy, where we have a variety of live, in-person training, where you can bring along your iPad or iPhone and do some editing with me. So I'll see you there. Until then, see you next time.